going to put one arm across our chest and the other one's going to come in front. We're going to stretch out the forearm. And switch. Then we're going to put one hand behind our head. We're going to push down on our elbow. And switch. Then we're going to spread our legs apart. We're going to reach up and go to one side. And we're going to come back up and switch. And we're going to come up to the middle. We're going to go down. If you can touch the ground, try to move your hands, go backwards, and reach behind you. Alright, we're going to sit down. We're going to do butterflies. We're going to pull our legs in close, push down on our knees. Then we're going to stick one leg out. We're going to reach. Make sure your knee is nice and straight. And switch. Then we're going to stick one leg out in front of us. The other is going to go over and we're going to do our Hollywoods. And switch. Yellow belts, working for the green belt. We're going to go through your curriculum now. So, tension stance and bow into class. Let's go to our writing stance. First one's going to be front block. Listen to your watch. Cross your face. Listen to your watch. Cross your face. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to chamber. Next one's outer forearm block. Outer forearm block. Okay, go to your coil and one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to chamber. Now for the palm blocks. Palm block high. Remember, Close your fingers up, tuck your thumb in, curve it just slightly like you're holding a ball. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Middle palm block. Middle palm block. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Low palm block. Remember, protect your crotch, go all the way down past your crotch. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, now for the strikes. Back fist chin strike. Ready? We want to extend all the way out. Make your elbows go all the way out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to chamber. Uppercut. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to chamber. Upset punch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to chamber. Hammer fist to side. Hammer fist to side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. And fighting stance. We're going to start off with roundhouse knee kick. Point your toes. Grab the bad guy's head. One, and back. Point your toes and two and three and switch. Point your toes the other direction. Grab the bad guy's head and one and two and three. Okay, crescent kick outside in. Ready, least belt level or higher. Ready, one, two, three and switch. Same kick, one, and two, and three. Now reverse uh, crescent, inside out. Reverse crescent, ready, 
One, two, three, and switch. One, two, and three. Okay, now we'll do our self-defense. Since hey, Alex is gonna give us a hand, let's see, we're gonna start off with two hand grab on the same arm. Turn your palm up, make a fist, grab it, pull out. Help, you're not my parent. Let's see, then we have single hand grab. Wax on, make your knife hand, make your stop sign, put your hat on. Other side, grab, make your knife hand, stop sign, put your hat on. Wax off, make your knife hand, put your stop sign on the inside, take your hat off. Other side, knife hand, stop sign, take your hat off. Here we have hair pull. Yeah, we're gonna trap the knuckles. Step back, bow at the waist. Okay, and the last one is bear hug, arms free. We're gonna look down for his foot. Remember, don't stomp on your parents' feet. They are not gonna like this. Take your heel, stomp next to their feet twice. Make fists, take your knuckles, wrap their fingers. If they still don't let go, grab the little finger and peel it off. Help, you're not my parent, and run away. Okay, so that completes the curriculum here. Okay, today we're going to go over the white belt combo block. Go to your writing stance. It's, do it with me now, rising block, low block, side block. Rising block, low block side block, rising block, low block, side block, rising, low, side, rising, low, side. Got it? See how fast you can do that. Number five of six on the Mushin for white and yellow belts is a two-hand grab on the same arm. What we're going to do is our distraction, kick them in the shin. Stranger danger! Yell stranger danger! Turn your palm up, make a fist, grab it through the center, pull it out, back fist to the face, cover. And number five of six of the Mushin for white and yellow belts is two hand grab. We're going to give them a distraction, kick them in the shin, yell stranger danger. danger. Make a fist, grab your fist, pull it out, back fist to the face, two steps back and cover. Number six of six is a cross grip. What we're going to do with this is we're going to kick them again in the shin. Stranger danger. Yell stranger danger. Make a knife hand. Come up, grab them back. So that's called wax on. Other hand, their elbows here. Take your other hand and push them to the ground. Let's do this from the other side. We're grabbed. We're going to kick them. Stranger danger. Yell stranger danger. Make our knife hand. Circle around, grab them back. Hand on the elbow and take them down. They'll tap out or something. Make sure you go to your uh, guard position. Riding stance. Rising block. Okay. Rising block. Okay. Both hands in chamber. Middle punch. Hey. Middle punch. Hey. And fighting stance. Hey. And front knee kick. Okay. Front knee kick. Hey. All right, excellent job of reviewing your quiz and practicing for your quiz. Kids, I hope you practiced for your quiz last week. Remember, we want everybody to practice their curriculum with the quiz with mom and dad. So, everybody, attention stance. Ray. Oops. And on your far right, we have Sensei Sierra. Then we have Renshi Mark. We have Sensei Alex. And I'm Renshi Mike. So we want to make sure that you are safe. We want to see you back in karate. Couple quick reminders on do the five. Please make sure you wash your hands often. You need to wash them long enough with soap that you can sing the ABC song. Also, if you need to cough, <coughs> a cough into your elbow, your shoulder, make sure you do not touch your face. Feet, you need to stay six feet apart. Right now, we're violating that, so we want to be six feet apart away from people. Please make sure that if you don't feel well, you stay home and you let mom and dad know.
So another merit badge that we have that you can earn is your Uniform Care Merit Badge. That has three different parts in it. This is the merit badge for that. You need to be able to tie your belt. You need to be able to fold your gi top correctly and your gi bottom correctly and then put them together and fold them up all in one unit. So we're going to go over how to tie a belt here. We're going to do it from front and back view for you. So first thing is you're going to fold your belt in half. Put that right on your belly button. As you wrap it around your body, you want the side that's going this way, your right side to go underneath, and you want the side going this way on your left side to go over the top. As we do that, and this is not mirror image here, parents, the part that's over the top coming around from your left side is going to go over everything here. I'm going to pull that all the way up nice and snug. And then the top part that's on the top is going to go over the top and I'm going to pull it nice and tight. If I've done it correctly, if I have stripes on my belt, the stripe should be visible and the open part of the knot should be going to my right. This is also in your workbook and it's on page 8 and page 9 in the newest edition of the karate workbook. Color belts to your homework this week is uh, where was Bruce Lee born? Don't forget to continue your practice, one step self defense, katas at the website and on these videos. Make sure you've done all your quizzes. Practice your challenges and send the results to your sensei. And don't forget to wash your hands. Let's bow out of class, tension stance, and bow. Oh, oh.